I was going, hey, wait a minute, <laughs> the world's in collapse here and we're not doing anything about it. And people were like, oh yeah, that's, that's a problem. And there was a sense of utter disconnected in realities. Climate change is just dealt with as if it was any other discrete environmental issue. For years, we said we can solve this if everyone would just put the right light bulbs in, buy a Prius. Liven your morning up, maybe. <laughs> what we really needed to be doing was, from the very beginning, raising hell. All right, grab your rest. Eight hours of community service, and then they'll dismiss, as if they had never been filed, the charges. In theory, I could just show up and do this every two weeks or so if I wanted. Woke up at 2.30 in the morning thinking, why am I doing this? Nobody's gonna care, nobody's gonna notice. One, two, three, four, five, postcard boots. Yes. If you've done all the legal available methods and they don't work, then the only thing that you have left is to put your body in the way. I feel a large amount of pride for what my dad does because save the world and all that. The odds are vanishingly small. I mean, really, are basically fucked. But that's no excuse for not figuring out what to do next, so. One man can't do this. Life is hard for zealots. Some of my heroes in history were zealots, the suffragettes, the abolitionists. Makes him hard to love, but it also makes him worth loving, I guess. He's dedicated, he's articulate, he's passionate, and he's guilty. I'm now showing Exhibit 18 to the jury. We need moral clarity. We need sides to be drawn. Either you're for burning fossil fuels and ending the world, or you're against it. Which is it?